And they shouldn't have yeah, sex with anyone else. Yeah, they shouldn't have sex with anybody else. That's oh. an unnecessary imposition also. Well, I do know that it's an unnecessary imposition, but I would say it's an impractical situation, impractical. which clearly gets broken repeatedly. Yes. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the divorce rates that we yes, have. That's right. It so is that, that's is not, not taking place. We have a society where 40-odd percent of the households are headed by single parents, yeah. mostly women. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Which suggests that these women did not engage in marriage before engaging in sex. Yes. And naturally, they will have had more than one partner if they have several baby fathers, mm -hmm. as we put it. So, is it really taking place? Or and is a it a lot farce? Of people are having I sex can't outside. say a lot, but there are persons but who are married who have sex with someone other than their partners. Mm. And that's happening with a great it frequency. Happens. It happens. It happens all over the world. And you think it, it is perhaps unnatural for us to expect people to be married for 30 years and to have sex only. <laughs> I mean, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying it's unnatural, it's but I'm saying that I do believe that over a 30 year period we do change and we grow. And I think that one of the biggest ills I see in terms of the notion of the Christian or other religious marriage yes. is that there's no negotiation of sex prior to marriage. There's an assumption. Negotiation of sex. But nobody talks oh, about sex before uh, marriage. What, 